Well, the drip drip of results uh, keeps coming in. We're now at 20% of the precincts reporting. And the top two candidates, the race for Atlanta mayor has tightened. Keisha Lance Bottoms now pulling 27% of the vote to Mary Norwood's 20%. And these numbers are likely to change as the evening unfolds here. The wait for numbers has been long and arduous. Fox News Morris Diggs was at a Bottoms watch party tonight. He joins us now live. Morris, they got to be feeling good, even though 20% of the vote has come in only, with the numbers that they've gotten so far, with 20% of the vote so far for Keisha Lance Bottoms. Well, they are feeling good, but the only thing that has not gone so well for Keisha Lance Bottoms at this point is the pace of the vote tally. Now, she came down here right before 11 o'clock to talk to her supporters and to thank them and to tell them stick with her because she's upstairs right now watching the poll results come in. What she wanted to tell them, frankly, is that she could not make a speech right now because it's just too early to try and characterize the results. I'm, um, I'm happy and I'm enjoying the moment, but I'm not nervous. We've been working on this for a year and I'm not anxious about it. We've done all we can do. This has been about a day-to-day -day grind and it's just been about asking the people of Atlanta to believe in what we know is the future of the city. In fact, it's just been the last few weeks that we've seen her get close to Mary Norwood and then in some of the polling overtake her. Uh, what may be a bit surprising is that with this broad field that we have out there, people like Cesar Mitchell, Kwanzaa Hall, Kathy Woolard, Vincent Fort, I think we were expecting to see them take a larger chunk of this pie. Again, it is very, very early. These appear to be the top two, but uh, she's not taking anything for granted. She's upstairs right now watching television. Reporting live from the Keisha Lance Bottoms campaign, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News. Yeah, it was a crowded field with a lot of back and forth in the polling leading up to tonight. Morse, thanks. Let's go to Deidre Dukes now at uh, the Norwood watch party tonight. Deidre, we have 21% of the vote being tallied right now. Mary Norwood still stands at 20% edging closer to Keisha Lance Bottoms. That's right. Uh, Mary Norwood made her third and final appearance uh, here just uh, after 11 p.m. Uh, she addressed her supporters saying it would be the last time they would see her tonight, telling them uh, that they should go home because she said she did not plan to pull an all-nighter, saying that she had three appearances early tomorrow morning starting at 6 a.m. She does expect this is going to be a long and uh, lengthy uh, process with these election results being so slow to uh, come in, but she does say that she does anticipate that she will be in a runoff. She stressed again that she does see herself as an inclusive candidate, saying that she's not just speaking of this ethnicity, saying that uh, she really has support across the board around the city. She also said that that also speaks to her support in the business community. She was uh, very uh, enthusiastic, very upbeat as she addressed the crowd here tonight. I appreciate the fact that they're taking their time to make sure that all the returns are accurate, that everything is in, and they report it out appropriately. However, that means it is going to be a very long night for all of us. She said she is the all-encompassing candidate, the candidate for Atlanta for the 21st century. She does anticipate from her comments that uh, if there is a runoff that she will be facing uh, the candidate uh, Keisha Lance Bottoms and says that she expects that both women will run a um, very good, strong race, but she says that her race will prove to be the stronger of the two. She is uh, very hopeful, uh, in a very good place, uh, as was evident here tonight as we head into the evening. Evening. Uh, she will make an appearance on Good Day Atlanta tomorrow at 8 a.m. She is scheduled to make that appearance tomorrow morning. And then we're told by her campaign staff that she'll be holding a news conference tomorrow uh, afternoon at 2 o'clock in the afternoon at her campaign headquarters here in Buckhead. 
And that's the latest here from uh, Election Night Watch Party. For Mary Norwood, I'm Peter Duke, Fox 5 News. Yeah, Mary Norwood, no stranger to this uh, process. She's been down this runoff road before. Deidre, thanks. You're now with Chief Meteorologist David Chanley, who's